show which is the crow and for today's episode we're going to be continuing filling the game shelf um, so I'm just going to go right into it kind of make this a little quick um, to fill in the top thing I just got another one of these little motherfuckers it's got um, electrophiles on there and um, then I found um, at the store on one of the shelves one of these it's from arms from the switch game I just took it off the shelf I just took it basically so we can put that on the shelf. I kind of like that there. You can see that, but. All right, now we're gonna just get right into the games. The Wii got Rayman, Raving Rabbits. Um, it's kind of, uh, I just got it, basically. Um, kind of always wanted this one for some reason, but. Saw it, figured now was my chance. So we'll put that there. Next is an Xbox game. Um, this game just looked pretty interesting to me, so I picked it up for really no apparent reason at all. Um, which was Azurk, a Rise of the Parathia, or something like that. But yeah, I just kind of grabbed that. It looked kind of cool. So I just grabbed that. It's kind of like the little gameplay on there. Looks kind of cool. <clears throat> and I grabbed a couple PS2 games. Well, basically for just the point, just to grab them. Put on this uh, Nightshade. Pretty good, pretty cool. So I grabbed that one. Sonic Unleashed, just to grab the Sonic game, basically. Um, pretty sure this one's kind of just like Sonic's, sort of like a werewolf almost, I think. Yeah, it's kind of like that. I haven't played it. Just figured I'd grab it. I got an NES game. Um, the, first, the only part that I saw was Konami at first, so that's kind of why I had interest in it. But then when I looked at it, it looked pretty cool. It was um, Adventures of Bayou Billy. So I'm guessing it's kind of just like Crocodile Dundee kind of thing, running through the swamps and killing the alligators. So it looked kind of cool. So I grabbed that one. This actually is like some new games because um, I bought the Switch. Black Friday for full price apparently, but um, I got a couple of the um, games for the Switch. I grabbed um, grabbed Doom and I grabbed Cave Story and I also grabbed Tiny Barbarian and I played the out of all of them I played most of Tiny Barbarian. Um, it's pretty cool. I, some of my friends talked me into getting the Switch, so I decided I would. i um, really impressed with it. I actually think it's pretty cool. Um, the cases are slick. I love these cases. And unlike the um, PS4 and I'm assuming Xbox One, um, other than the game, it actually comes with other things in the case, rather than just a blank case, and it's just stupid. Like the, like these ones, um, except for Doom actually came with nothing, so my, my issue with every new game system basically is that they have these big cases, open it up, just for fucking stupid little chip, that's my issue with new games, or it just comes with a disc, it's just, it's just so stupid, but um, it's still a fun game, but I just don't get the point of the big case, all the art, I just don't get the point than just having a little dinky little thing in there. Um, unless you're this company, right here in the Callus, unless you're them, which they actually know what people want, so they um, involve a manual that actually comes with like a little comic in this one. Um, really well done, really cool matches, I think, the um, style of the Switch, to be honest. And then this one actually came with a little keychain, too. Um, a little keychain. And then with the Cave Story, um, it also came with the, um, like the instruction manual. Check, like, the inside a little bit. And, um, but that one also came with the, with the soundtrack. So, this company's doing shit right. I like this company. And if you don't 
put um, anything out, and especially instruction book, but that's what pisses me off. If you don't put an instruction booklet in your games, fuck your game, basically. You know, I'll still play it, but it just <laughs> gets a lower score for me. Put those on the shelf. Next, I got a DS game, which is um, Legend of Zelda, Phantom Hourglass. Um, <clears throat> I just kind of grabbed it. This is actually, to be honest, the first Zelda game I have, so I was going to get Breath of the Wild, but they didn't have it, so I grabbed that one. I started playing a little bit of it, but I realized that you need a stylus for it, and I don't have one of those, but anyway, so I grabbed that. I got a um, pretty cool game here for the PS1. We got Mega Man X4. I think Mega Man is my favorite character, so I grabbed that. Been meaning to grab this one for a bit. Actually, I actually did, wasn't gonna grab this or um, Legend of Zelda, but I left my card at the video game store. So when I called and they said they had it, I spent some more there and I got these last two games: the um, Legend of the Legend of Zelda and Mega Man. So put that there. Actually got a box copy um, Kabuli on the Super Nintendo. Um, it has been open. Um, the tape's not on it, so kind of figured it was open. Kind of checked it out, but it's still pretty cool. I have a box and everything. So yeah, <clears throat> that's those games that I bought. There's actually uh, one more game that I had ordered off of eBay. It's in this box. So we're gonna go unbox this game. It's a pretty old game and I'm pretty excited about it. So let's go do that. All right, let's crack this shit open. All right, so what I grabbed from eBay was um, Keep the Thief for the Amiga. Um, it's already been open, so I guess I can kind of open it up and show you. Um, it's made by like Naughty Dog Company. Like, this is like old ass shit. Yeah, dude, it, yeah, check this shit out. Naughty Dog, people brought you Ca Crash Bandicoot, Jack and Baxter, Nathan Drake. Can you read that? I don't know if you can read that, but 1989, Naughty, Naughty, Naughty Dog Incorporated. That's some dank shit right there. That's why I got this, I honestly. That's honestly why I got it. These are the games, which are on fucking floppy disks. It's absolutely dope as shit. I'm gonna put this away, and then I'm gonna put it back on the shelf. Um, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, so here's what we got so far. Um, that's what the second box looks like. Uh, pretty bare, <laughs> but oh uh, well. And then we got the first box. Um, looks like another game. We'll have to go here or Switch, PS1 or something. But um, for that to be completed, um, just it wouldn't match up because I kind of wanted all those games next to each other, all the NES ones. So that didn't really work out. But so we'll just get another game for that next time. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching. Um, be sure to subscribe if you haven't, because otherwise there's no point. Alright, have a good one. Uh, who the fuck says have a good one? Uh, peace out.